Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a drop cap character in your Squarespace blog post. We'll also isolate an individual block of text in case you want to have this in just one spot on your Squarespace website. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'll go ahead and share my screen with you so you'll see exactly what parts of this code you'll want to change to make it uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and this is the code that we're going to be using that is listed in the description below. But I'd love to show you how to use it because some of this code you'll want to change to make it look perfect for your own website. Now I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to website and select website tools and then custom CSS. This is where we'll paste this code that is in the description below. Now I do wanna mention this very first part of the code right here isolates this to just blog posts. This is just happening on the blog posts on the Squarespace website. So we can add it to our custom CSS file and it's not going to affect standard pages. The first part of the code says make the font bold and then I change the font family to serif. I had it set to display block and float left and I'd recommend leaving those two settings alone. After that, I adjusted the margin for the top, bottom and right and the font size itself. All of those are super duper customizable. Maybe you don't want it to be that big. Maybe it doesn't need a margin on the top. I want you to get really creative with this code to make sure it suits the style for your own site. Now, going back to the settings I had before, what if you only want to isolate one part of your blog post? Maybe you don't want this to happen to every single text block. For that, we can use a block ID. I'm going to click on a free Chrome extension that I have. I've linked to it in the description below, not affiliated, just a fan. And let's grab the block ID for this part of the text right here. Now I'll turn that extension off and I'm going to replace the part of my code that says blog item content HTML block with the block ID. And now just the first letter of just this text block is going to have all of these changes. Notice that the other ones went back to normal. I'll press control Z on my keyboard so you can see that one more time. We replaced blog item content HTML block with the unique block ID. Now, if you want to do this for multiple blocks of text, you totally can. Grab the block ID for the other block of text you want to add this to. We'll go ahead and add a comma right here and I'll paste that block ID and it's changing all the letters. Let's make sure it only changes the first letter. There we go. Now we have the drop cap for both of those, but only those text blocks instead of any block of text inside this blog post. After you've made all the changes you want to see, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that I just shared with you and a link to that free Chrome extension in case you want to isolate by an individual block ID. Again, not affiliated, just a fan. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. And if this is your very first time using custom CSS, I've got a lot more to teach you. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn to watch my free class on CSS basics for Squarespace. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.